What's up, people? Today, I'm doing a review on my Ego electric lawnmower. Now, I was on the fence purchasing anything electric. Uh, I've been a gas person my entire life, and I was worried that I would not get enough battery time out of something like this because I have a decent amount of grass. Let me just show you real fast. I have all of this here that goes out all the way to the pole right there, around the back here. I don't mind some of the dark spots here. We just had some aeration done and we have some grub control going on all the way over to the other side of the bushes. And then the front, let me just show you. All the way up here around the front. Initially, I was concerned about having to purchase a spare battery. Uh, I did want an electric because of A, storing it inside the garage and not having gas smell. Now inside my shed, it's getting kind of crowded. I do have room in here to store it, but my idea is to revamp this entire shed, redo it. I have a, a newborn and over down the road, I want to kind of make this a little playhouse. So I want to get all this out of here. I'm actually trying to limit the amount of things that I put in here. So over time I could start moving them into the garage. So enough of that. Let's just show you a quick little startup. This thing is super, super easy. As you can see, this is in the stored position. You can store it upright. It's awesome. All you're gonna do is tilt it down. I just put my foot in front of the wheel, bring it down like so, okay? Now, this handle, you can do this with one hand. You wanna open this up, all right? And adjust it to the desired angle that you want. We'll get to that in a second. Next, it will not start, and it tells you right here that it will not start until this is extended. So you have to flip this down, slide this all the way out. All right, let me do, it's actually, there we go. Hold on. Ah, above the lines, okay? Has to be above the lines on each side of the lawnmower. If it's not above the lines, Good luck getting it started because it won't. Next, you can put the, the bag on if you want. Right now, we're going to be mulching. So, real easy. You can just lift this up like that. Woo! Some grass in there from last time. You pull that handle and open it up. And then you can just rest the bag right on top of here. And this rests on top. We're not using the bag. Next, putting the battery in. Easy. Lift this up. Let's go grab the battery. <sighs> on this one fully charged slide it in until it locks just like this hear that click it's in close it all right startup is super easy turn the power on oh i forgot you got to press and hold it for a second there now the digital display is going to tell you, you have 100 percent right now we're cutting in normal you can go turbo if you really need extra power dry grass wouldn't need it or eco if you want to conserve power. All the grass that I just showed you, this battery will cover with no problem when it's dry. Over here you have self-propelled, it's off. We're gonna sit there and we're gonna click it to auto. Good to go. Now, to start this mower, press and hold this green power button and then pull the handle up. See if we can do this with one hand to show you. All right, let me zoom out a little bit more. Press and hold. Just like that. That's how loud it is. Okay? The one complaint I have about this mower, it, it's not all awesome. Uh, the self-propelled portion of it, it jerks a little bit. So like I have some inclines back here pushing up the hill. Sometimes it'll pop a wheelie. It's not exactly super smooth and consistent, but it's not a detractor. It's not something that I'm like, ah, you know what? I wish I didn't get this mower. Actually very happy with it. Now, I raised the deck. Oh, let me show you that. So right here, one handle. You can go all the way down to its lowest setting, which is super, super low. You're gonna scalp your lawn. You can bring it all the way up with one hand. I actually like keeping it right in 
around four. Five's not bad for the grass I have. You can raise it, look at this, with one hand. We'll st you know what, we're gonna go to four. We're gonna give it a nice cut. It's not that bad, we're just keeping it short because we got some uh, stuff going on that we're correcting here. So overall, a great lawnmower. Now I'm gonna show you how it cuts, okay? We're gonna give you a a side-by-side -side of what it looks like now. Like I said, the grass isn't that long, so, but I can show you a couple of clips. Check out this clip from when the grass was about four inches high and it was wet, right here. That was about four inches, uh, super wet. I did it after a rain. I should have weighed it, but I had to get it done. And it took me two battery charges. So with super wet grass, this still cuts it no problem, except you run out of power. I ran out halfway through. I had to throw it on the charger and wait 45 minutes to get a full charge and then finish the job. Now, when the grass is dry, I'm gonna have about 50% of power left, so I'll show you. We're gonna run it through the whole thing, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. All right, let's just show you how short it went, and that's on four. I don't know if you could see that. A good shot there but this is you can actually see down where it didn't look thick on the right but now it's nice and short on the left again some of the dark spots we're dealing with some grubs here in the fall and we treat it um, also put down a couple applications of uh, fertilizer some nitrogen to correct this for the coming next spring but there you go you can see the naked eye just how well it cuts just like that, nice smooth line. Let's finish. Okay, just got done doing the grass. I'm sweaty, so I'm gonna take off my hoodie for a second. Then I'm gonna show you the power. I'm gonna walk you around, show you that we did cut the entire grass. Ah except for the curb strip, but that's okay. That's only gonna take one minute. Let me show you. All right, let me show you what we got left. In power, 74% battery left. We used normal cut and we did the whole, look, we did the whole front. I just have to do the sidewalk. I forgot that I missed the sidewalk on both sides, but lawns cut, lawns cut. And yes, if you're gonna comment about how the yellowing effect it's, uh, we had some grubs going on that we had to treat recently. This is, this is what it's doing. Damaged my lawn right here. We had some really bad uh, grubs going on. So we just had terrific turf come out and treat. So yeah, it doesn't look great right now in the fall, but come spring, she should be nice and lush. But that side, the whole back. Top, both tiers, all three tiers actually four if you count the lower level so all around here frontier up there top the ego is amazing like i'm so happy that i went with them i'm not sponsored at all they didn't sponsor me they never reached out to me this is just me talking about the lawnmower that i got i mean i was so impressed with their lawnmower i went with the um weed whacker or, or if you want to take a look at this and also their um leaf blower and we're going to do that in a minute but first we need to finish up we need to finish up cutting the front because i missed the sidewalk when i was so busy trying to do this review but we're going to go knock that out real fast and we'll be right back all right now we're finished completely done i just had to run down and do the sidewalk from the uh, light post all the way down to the second light post and we are finished with 72 percent power left all that with the battery pretty impressed very very impressed with this uh ego lawnmower now i have to clean it up but the fastest way to shut it down and to do your cleaning is the first thing you got to remove the power remove the battery all you got to do is reach in thumb it's 
hard to do it one hand, but there you go, just like that. I'm gonna take my battery. I'm gonna throw it up on my charger, just like so. There you go. Since it only needs like 25% to go, or excuse me, 28%, we'll be good to go here in a few, uh, about 15 minutes. So, for storage, and now I'm gonna clean this thing, but for storage, I'm gonna close this. Shut my door. You just do everything in reverse. Lower the handle, right? Click that, and then with one hand, with the handle, you wanna flip it all the way over. Hold the button until it looks like this. And then I just lift it up by the handle right here and I can wheel it. But I've got some uh, grass that needs to be clean. Not too bad. I treat the bottom with uh, WD-40 to keep it from sticking. Seems to work. You could use ceramic coating if you want. If you, have, if you have some silicon spray laying around, some detailer, you could spray it. Anything that keeps it slick to keep the grass from sticking, that's not too bad. So I'm gonna wipe it down. Uh, before I put it away. Usually what I do is I'll use the leaf blower to blow off all these uh, leaf particles that are still left on it. That's it. That's the Ego 21-inch uh, select, select cut, whatever. I forget what the name of it is. Here it is. Whatever I had in the title, <laughs> I, I kind of forgot. So that's it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Before you go, click that like button. If you have any questions, just drop me a comment. Listen, I was on the fence about buying a battery-operated lawnmower. Using gas all my life, I was really, really on the fence with this. But because of uh, the technology that has increased, this thing is awesome. It really is. I, I can't say anything bad about it other than it's just jerky sometimes and self-propelled. But other than that, love this thing. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Before you go, click that like button. Click the little bell notification. If you like the content we put out, click the super thanks button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Last but not least, you guys and girls, I'll be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.